So balance changes this update. One of the big things was uh, the mortar. NK added a new ability for the mortar. It's called Bombardment. That's why I changed the title of this challenge editor game to Bombardment. Basically, what it does is it shoots really fast. I think 4x as fast and has bigger radius for 8 seconds with a 60 second cooldown. So with that, I obviously want to try it out. And to do that, I'm going to bring back the 2 million pops challenge. It's been a while since I did that, but I'm gonna try with the artillery battery on In The Loop. I don't think it's been done before on In The Loop, so that'll be nice to get first completion. Assuming it wasn't done, well, a day before the update. The mid game will be very chill, but it'll be very intense once we get to the end. So I'm gonna start off with a submarine, because I can't start with a boomerang or a mortar, obviously. If you've seen my other 2 million pops challenge videos, you will remember me saying that I never want to do a 2 million pops mortar again, yet this is the apparently third time I'm doing it. I know. I wasn't going to do it again until they, well, made it a lot better, which is kind of the thing. I can't predict when a tower is going to be uh, buffed like this. Although it, it doesn't make sense because it was weird that uh, they never gave an ability. Even though every tier 4 tower, every other uh, tower has an ability, but the mortar, nothing. Now, should I rush striker or mortar? I'll, I'll do mortar first. This will be a tier, tier 4 2 million pops. I don't know if it's been done already. I'm gonna restart this round also. So unfortunately, yeah, it's gonna be Twin Gun, sadly. And then I have to get Mortar a lot later. So the thing is, with the Artillery Battery, I gotta save a lot of pops for around 100. Because I think... I think I need a First Strike or something like that. Or Assassins. You can't stun the Bat, so the Mortar isn't going to do a lot of damage. Because the Tier 4 Mortar does bonus damage to Stun Balloons, which is a big bonus. That's actually the reason why uh, it was given the ability this update. Because apparently they fixed a bug where Balloon Impact would give the uh, um, Artillery Battery extra damage to Moabs, because even though Balloon Impact can't stun Moabs, it, it still technically applied the damage bonus. But I never used Balloon Impact with this Tier 4 Mortar anyway, so... For me, it's basically a straight buff. So we're just gonna get Mortar here, and we'll put Alchemist to the left of it to not take any pops away. I'm gonna take each round slowly, just in case I steal too many pops. So, Striker Jones, round 14. This is a good spot that will never take away damage, so we'll be fine with that. And now we just upgrade, make sure we have enough for a 301 for round 24. Should be fine to defend this, I hope. Right? Yeah, sub is good. Twin guns is king. Again, I'm putting it in the center here because it works with my defense that I'm gonna plan. Alright, this run is looking pretty epic. I'm not gonna lie. We should have this. Nice. And then get this for round 24. We'll start upgrading now, now that we got we got the show on the road. I hope the I hope I'm not being like uh taking away too many pops right now that I need the end. So right now the plan is probably to go for artillery first. See if this garbage defense can save up uh four thousand dollars. It'll probably be like mid to late thirties, I'll get it. But once you get it again, it'll be so much easier, you have no idea. I do recall my pop and awe when I did pop and too many pops. It was also very annoying, but it, I think it was also on an easier map. Not that in the loop isn't easy, but there are certainly easier maps than this out there. Alright, artillery battery, we got it. So, uh, I believe that's X4 attack speed. It was buffed from X3 a long time ago, I'm pretty sure if I recall. So now that we got that, we can basically just leave it, like, in one place. And we're gonna focus on buffing it now. So, for sure, the first thing I want to get is an Alky Boy. I believe you want a, um, a Permabrew for it. You can either do Permabrew or Homeland, the artillery. I think either way is, uh, you know, it it's gonna work. So let's go for it. And you see, it has an ability. A little different icon than the Papana. See the description? Unleashes a rapid-fire attack in a slightly wider area. So again, that is 4x attack speed on top of the X4. So 16 times faster than the Tier 3. Look at that. It would do more damage too if I Striker Stun, but I don't have to. That, my friends, is a fun ability. And you can see when the ability times out, the radius... The explosions look like a lot tinier. Or a little bit tinier. That is fast. So Primbrew would help, giving every attack extra damage and all that. Again, it's a toss-up between Homeland and Primbrew. I'm just gonna do Primbrew because it's just one less ability to deal with. Do I want a 420 or a 401? Probably a 401 for now. So let me go over my village now. I'm gonna get working on uh, glue gunners. Glue gunners are good. I also need to uh, get camo on the village, just because this guy isn't very reliable. But yeah, you do need uh, glues, a lot of them. Just because, again, uh, you gotta slow down the balloons for the ceramics. The more clump you get them, the better it will do, obviously. So, like, I'm thinking a mop glue here for starters, and then a glue hose up here. That is the current 
course of action. So another Moab. I don't even have to use the ability, just because this curve is so big. And I do have more glue now. So before I go with Brew, I think what I need is an Overclock. And obviously, maybe one more, one more 0 3 2 up here. And that will align me with getting Brew by like mid-80s, I think. It sounds about like an appropriate time to get this upgrade. So with this, it's basically going to be chill for like the mid-game. Artillery makes it a very easy time. One of these days, I'm going to use Striker Stun and the ability at the same time. Just to show you how much damage it does. Alright, round 16. This is a good time to show you the single target damage. Like, watch me just use everything. This. Look at the extra damage I get with Striker now. That went up by a lot. In case you couldn't tell. And that just literally annihilated that BFB. Also to note, level 10 Striker ability does reset the cooldown. So I get two abilities. Like, back to back. That sounds pretty handy, doesn't it? Especially for late rounds. I think now's probably a good time to go for a um, Glue Hose. We're getting to that point where balloons are getting past. Sneaking past and we need things to defend. Alright, so let's do uh, let's do the thing. Striker Stun, just to see how much DPS. About a, a, a couple hundred, like 150 per second. I mean, that's not bad considering this thing isn't meant for uh, single target. Yeah, it's still shredding single target. Again, no Striker until I absolutely have to. So, we're just going to use the ability to end off all this. Not quite, we're still missing a little bit. So, overclock one more time. And this thing should have enough pierce to just shred through all the insides, nice. 80 rounds done. Looks like, yeah, we will afford it. $20 off from greatness from Burn Brew. Alright, I'm going to go full on sickle mode on these balloons. With that attack speed. Nom nom nom. This round's going to give me a lot of money, so we should be very close to a uh, Permaru. It's not going to be a big difference, like, damage-wise, so it's, I'm still going to struggle, but... I mean, it'd be nice to just get out of the way, so I can focus on, uh, Sabos. Sabos are good. I think I need four of them, and that might be enough, uh, money to get that and first strike by the end. That's really the only thing I'm missing. Another Morp Glue, maybe? And Sabos. I've done a lot of Mortar Tomb Lane Pops. I've done Pop and Awe, I've done Big One, I've done Biggest One, and now I'm doing Artillery Battery. This is my fourth Mortar Tomb Lane Pops I'm doing. I have a huge bias with Mortar in these, even though they are the, the most annoying to do in Tomb Lane Pops. Again, check the playlist. I have a playlist for them if you don't remember. Also, um, I can buy this now. Nice. And now we get the Sabos, and we'll be on our way. So, let's unload. Attack speed. Yeah, you don't really see a difference. Or do you? I don't see too much, frankly. Alright, unload on all these four zoom Gs. I'll have the ability again. One more ability, end off 87. Absolutely annihilated. So, DT should be fine. I mean, as long as I have an ability on hand. I'm probably just going to use the attack speed. Just to destroy them. Also, you might have seen that um, the... The DT skin changed color. Apparently with the Neon DT skin, uh, it's blue if it's not decamoed, but if you decamo it, it turns yellow. Which is pretty sick. Definitely uh, an upper echelon to your skin, if you ask me. As someone who doesn't really use skins that much. Or doesn't care about them. I'm just kind of locked into the retro BFB and Moab. They seem to kind of fit for me. Like They certainly just fit in. They blend in with the game. Which is why I'm still using them. Gee, I wonder if I'm going to get level 20 Striker by 98. That would be so nice. What is it, double damage? They like, imagine that and the ability at the same time. We are eating. We'll be eating good if we can get that in time. Astro 92 here. Close call, close call. But I'll make sure to play it a little better for the harder rounds. Because we're only just getting started. Oh, doing this sure is a lot of work, man. But I, again, I know what I, I knew what I signed up for. Now I'm paying the price of all this micro. Hopefully we're fine this round. I'm just gonna alternate between exit and the entrance. Would be a lot easier if I get the ability, which I do. Now we can uh, juggle them. Yeah, I probably should play a little bit cautious back here. Got a lot of Moebs entering their last bend. Hopefully, we'll be fine still. Fast forward. Ready to pause if there's a problem. Nope, we're good. And after like five minutes, round 94 is done. Yeah, rounds are slow when you have this thing as your mode damage. 
currently at 1.2 million, and almost at a fourth Bloon Tabo. Striker is almost level 19, this is awesome. I need level 20. Buy at 98, hopefully. I'll spend money for it, as long as you can afford first strike as well. So, Sabo for sure, right now. Uh, I'm gonna wait for them to loop, and then unload. Unload. Look, again, you can see the gold Neon DT and the blue. Pretty cool. Now we're just gonna tap everywhere. Ability worn off. That's still fine. We still have enough mob damage, luckily. Sabo number four. And uh, just a couple more DTs to go. And we should have this. Got pretty far, though. Nice. 95 done. Like, what more do I need aside from four Sabos? Pretty sure that's enough. Again, unloading, unloading, unloading. Alright. Another one. Another one. Another one. Alright, and then everything but the Zoom Gs are done with. So now we use Striker. I don't want to use them while there's other balloons on. Otherwise, Circle will do too much damage. Right now, we are, our, our pop stolen is very little. So we should be well in the clear for the final stretch. Let me do some testing. I'm pretty sure I do need a first strike. And the money's there, so why wouldn't I get it? So much micro. We're done. We're pretty much there, though. Don't you worry. Okay, I, I got- I'm gonna have to spend 2k for striker level 20. Is it- am I able to afford first strike even with that? I think I can, yeah, I can. I'm um, way overboard in the money. What? Did I die to? Did I- was there something at the exit that I wasn't looking at? <laughs> I didn't see it. Okay, I'm blind. <laughs> I'm blind. Alright. Ideally, I should beat this round without using any, um, abilities. I want it all up for 98. That is the goal. I want it all. Awesome. So, I'm gonna spend the 2k, alright, because I can still afford a first strike. I'm not gonna get up right now, obviously, only at 99. Let me just stab immediately. I want the double damage, or whatever it gives. Double damage. Yep, double damage of pops per second, or pierce. So, unload everything. Everything. Look at how much damage we're doing right now. It is off the charts. Relative to, you know, what this guy would normally do. So we'll use it again. Right it back. Two abilities, basically back to back. Pretty much gets most of the fortified BFBs. And almost damages the ZMGs. Almost damages it all the way. Let's use an ability. It does 3 damage. Okay, don't use Striker again. That's the last time I'll use it. I'm gonna try to save one ability for uh, 99, because I gotta slow down those fortified DDCs, of course. Alright, another ability. This will definitely help for the uh, BFB innards. Look at that long line of Moabs. This is gonna be interesting. Okay, should I reset the ability again? No, I'm fine. Okay, final stretch of 98, boys. Um, I don't have the ability up for 99, like, right now, but it's fine. It's fine. I have a bunch of Sabos that will certainly help out. And Striker, again, the pop stolen is hardly a deal right now. Hardly a deal. I'm gonna buy first strike the moment this round ends. Coolio, we're gonna Sabo immediately. First strike now. And let's see. Let's see, I could probably stall enough to get the ability again. So not a big deal. Gonna let it take its slow course around. Oh, another Sabo. Forgot. So, overclock. Use the mad ability. And, uh, yep, fortified DT is no problem. No problemo. So, now for round 100. I'm gonna do 10k damage immediately. And I wonder if that's all I need. Can this guy do the rest? It's doing like five damage shot, it looks like. Hard to tell. I think it I think it is five damage. Should I use double damage now? Yeah, I guess why not? Why not? And I'll use attack speed. Just to rain it down. 
I think I'm okay with using two first strikes, right? 20k damage on the bad. Yeah, it's fine. Let's uh, just make sure to do more than 20k. So ability. Yep, 21.2. That's good. That's good. And there should be enough, uh, you know, money to spare for this guy. Time to bring her home. Ability. Anytime now. I'm gonna sabo. Now. Uh, overclock. Overclock. I overclocked the wrong thing. I overclocked the freaking. What I I overclocked the village. Well, I'm great. I'm really good at this game, guys. Um, we should be fine still. We should be fine. Don't worry, guys. I just meant to give my village more range, for whatever reason, so it can reach his UMGs. You know what I mean? Okay. Now because of that, it's going to be very tight. But it's okay. I got OC again. I got my ability at the ready. So I'm gonna sabo once more. Use the ability, use Striker's Stun. I probably should be using the Stun early, but it's fine. I have Striker's Reset ability and double damage. So, uh, they should stand no chance. Stun again. BFBs, alright, Reset, Ability, and Sabo to finish it all off. 2 million? Easy, I told you. Piece of cake. Overclocking the Village was part of the solution. Of course, of course. So yeah, as you saw in the Monkey Star, we cleared it by 14k, and that's the new mortar ability. Really useful, really fun to play around with, really fun to see a hypersonic shooting. Mortar monkey, GG's, GG's.